Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sheila Andre. I'm part of East Mozambique, um, as formerly called South Egyptus. Um, my name is Alfredo Mushanga. I'm also part of the East South Egypt team. Okay, so here we are going to talk about uh, the Bazara app which is uh, one of uh, our projects that it's rela related to, to, to farmers. Uh, when this project started, um, there were farmers, they were producing a lot of crops and they didn't have customers or people to buy them. Um, there were people buying uh, crops from other country, example, South Africa, and the local farmers were producing a lot of uh, crops, in this case was potatoes and uh, they had the necessity, necessity to sell these uh, potatoes. Then uh, a local NGO uh, contacted us to work on this uh, platform, which we call it a marketplace, which would allow the, the, the local farmers uh, that produce a lot of potatoes to have a platform which uh, able them to show the, 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 product, the products that they were selling. Um, so we saw opportunity to use a DHIS as a platform that will build this uh, marketplace. So we look uh, at this opportunity as a great way to use DHIS tool for uh, a domain uh, beyond the, the, the health. And on, on this case in particular, we analyzed the DHIS tool and we designed a system that is possible to be used by the, the farmers, the producers, and also by the consumers. So basically what we did is to create a different uh, 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 tools, different apps. Uh, one uh, mobile app that is possible to install for both uh, the farmers and the, the consumer. And we also have a web portal where they can access uh, to these uh, 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 tools and, and, and uh, the farmers can publish the products and the consumer can go there and, and request. And when they request, the farmer receives a, a notification and a follow-up follow is done within the, 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 the application. So basically, we, we gain a lot of adventures with that. And one of them is that we already used the existing DGS2 uh, uh, background and backend. So we didn't uh, had a lot of work developing the app. And we also use it, the analytics part of the HS2 to, to make some good statistics in order to, to analyze data and use this data for, for some ben benefit things to the society in Mozambique. So, so far, uh, we have uh, done a lot of work uh, mapping a lot of farmers. Uh, in the system, we have almost 3,000 3, uh, farmers uh, registered, uh, which one was uh, based on this uh, work that we've done with this local uh, organization. The other approach we did uh, to gain uh, new farmers in this, into the system, that is this annual uh, kind of conference that we have with local um, NGOs that go and present the, the, the work they, they, they do. So in this particular uh, conference, there are also uh, people that work with farmers so we created um, a kind of uh, binder like this to explain them how Bazara or this marketplace worked and we were incentivated other local farmers to be part of this platform. So we also gained a lot of um, farmers that were not working uh, directly on this uh, local organization that we start working with. Uh, our, our main uh, uh, approach was to have the, the farmers using their own, own, own apps. But when we went to, to the field, we found out that the, that was not the, the reality. So what we did is to use these uh, local organizations. They have uh, some local committees that I use to, 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 to facilitate this process of, of reporting uh, the data. And that's something that we also uh, 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 learn for other projects that are related with, with agriculture that we use at local organizations and like institutions like radios and other things that are coming into. So uh, one of the f biggest benefits with, that we had with this uh, platform was to make the farmers more motivated to produce uh, more crops because they were dismotivated because they they've have, have been uh, cultivating a lot of uh, crops and no one to sell. Uh, with this specific project, it also incentivated um, them to produce more 
because they had more customers to sell.